What's up, fellow entrepreneur? It's PK Patel from Midwest Corporate Credit, where funding your business is our business. On Wednesday, August 14th, the yield curve inverted. Oh no! In this week's video, we're gonna cover what it means, how it impacts the funding of your small business, and what you need to do to stay ahead of the curve. No pun intended. If you've been reading any business headlines whatsoever in the past week, you can't help but come across at least one article that mentions the scary inverted yield curve. First, let's start with a normal scenario. The yield on short-term bonds is supposed to be lower than the yield on long-term bonds because when investors tie up their money for a shorter period of time, they expect a lower return than when they tie up their money for a longer period of time. An inverted yield curve is when the yield on longer-term bonds drops below the yield on shorter-term bonds. In this case, the yield on 10-year bonds drop below the yield on 2-year bonds. When the yield curve inverts like this, it indicates that investors have less confidence in the near-term economy. They would rather tie up their money for a longer period of time for a lower return because they perceive the near term to be risky. As the demand for long-term bond increases, the yield on these long-term bonds drops below the less desirable short-term bonds. Without going into too much detail, an inverted yield curve is an indication that a recession is more likely in the near future. Historically speaking, there has been a gap of seven to 19 months between the yield curve inversion and the actual recession with an average gap of 14 months. During a recession, funding is extremely difficult to obtain. Most of you may remember the Great Recession of 2008. Between late 2008 and early 2011, it was extremely difficult to get funding for anything. So what can you do to defend yourself against the risk of not having any business funding available? The answer is to set up all the business funding you need now. If your business has no need for funding at this time, the prudent move would be to set up revolving business credit accounts, like business credit cards and business lines of credit. That way you're not paying interest when funds are not in use. At Midwest, we specialize in setting up precisely these types of accounts for your business. Go to applymidwest.com and click on the green button in the upper right hand corner to get a free consultation. If you've considered our program in the past but just for one reason or another haven't gotten to it yet, now is the time my friend. This time next year I don't want you to be sitting there not having access to business capital and regretting not listening to PK when you watch this video. Go to applymidwest.com and click on the green button in the upper right hand corner to get started. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend. And while you're here, subscribe to our channel. For Midwest Corporate Credit, I'm PK Patel. Thank you for watching.